everyone, today we're going to check out the Jurong East August 2022 BTO site and explore what's around. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So let's do a quick summary of this August launch. There's a total of 7 sites spread across 6 locations with a total of 4,960 units. So these sites include Amokyo, Chua Chu Kang, Jurong East, Woodlands, Tampines and 2 in Bukit Mira. Without further ado, let's start with the site plan. So this project is located in a non-mature estate bounded at Jurong East Street 42 and Bukit Bato Avenue 1. It's actually right next to Crest Secondary School and will be only a 5 minutes walking distance to two future Jurong Region line stations. And this project offers a total of 560 units consisting of 2-room flexis, 3-room and 4-room unit types. So that makes up around 11.3% of the entire exercise. Moving on to stack placement, this project isn't exactly the best in terms of views after we went down and see the site. Firstly, this site is along PIE which means that the north-facing stack will be absorbing a lot of noise from the traffic and the zooming vehicles. However, if you manage to install good quality windows or soundproof the house, this won't be a problem for you. The west facing stack is overlooking Crest Secondary School, so the best alternative might be the south facing stack as you'll be facing the neighbourhood centre which are relatively low rise. Before we move on to pricing, there's one project here that was launched in August which is To Guan Grove. So this HDB is around a 6 minutes walk from this BTO plot and had an overall application rate of 15.1 for a 4 room unit which is pretty insane guys. So for those of you who didn't manage to get to Guan Grove, this is your next best alternative. So the prices there went for 347000 to 436000 for a 4 room unit, which is a pretty decent range. Taking into consideration the past resale transactions and launch prices, our team has actually crunched the numbers and come up with estimated pricing. So the price for a 3 room unit is around 240000 to 300000 while a 4 room can potentially go from 350,000 to 440,000. So the price range is comparable to projects in Chochukang and Woodlands for this launch. Aside from being in close proximity to the up and coming Tanga Eco Town, this BTO site is also conveniently located near Jurong Innovation District and Jurong Lake District. So homeowners can actually expect healthy appreciation for their flats in the future. The Jurong Innovation District will house industries such as advanced manufacturing, urban mobility and more. This will then create over 95,000 new jobs there. On the other hand, the Jurong Lake District will be Singapore's largest business district outside of the central area. This will also be a great tourist spot. This will then create over 100,000 new jobs, 20,000 new homes by 2040 to 2050. This will then lead to higher rental opportunities as well. Okay, so that concludes our site analysis for the Juro East BTO project. Let's explore what's around. Let's go. Yi say it wrong. Three weeks later. Connectivity is one of the most important things to look out for when buying a home. And for this project, you are really, really, really well connected in the future. So you are just a 5 minutes walk to two Jurong Region Line MRT stations which are Toguan MRT and Bukit Batok West MRT which means you have a direct access to the Jurong Lake District. So both of these stations are in the plans to be released in the second phase of JRL and hopefully be operational by 2028. So once these stations are open, if you start your journey at Toguan MRT, you are just one stop away to the north-south line and the east-west line via the Jurong East Interchange. From there, you guys know the drill, commuters will have a direct train line to the CBD via Raffles Place. However, it is highly likely that this project will be completed before the GRL stations, so future residents will probably have to go about without the GRL for a short period of time after they move in. 
for drivers, PIA Expressway is just around the corner. In fact, it'll take you around 19 to 20 minutes to get to Orchard and Raffles Place. Whereas Changi Airport is around 35 minutes drive. And if you work in the future Jurong Lake District, it'll only take you around an 8 minutes drive to get to work. So how convenient is that? And if you're an avid car sharing services user, good news because there are two blue SG stations near the plot. Let's check out what you can find in terms of food options and where to get your basic necessities. So just an 8 minutes walk, you'll get to U4 Village which is the nearest neighbourhood centre from the Jurong East plot. Here you can find old school mom and pop stores, salons, bakeries, barbers, clinics, alteration shops and many more. But the most exciting thing here is, is the newly renovated U4 Village Market and Food Centre. And if you're a McDonald's fan like I am, you'll love this site because there's a McDonald's outlet here as well. For your basic necessities, the nearest supermarket is NTC Fairprice, which is opposite the neighbourhood centre. There's also the 7-Eleven convenience store at the neighbouring block. But if that's not enough... Welcome to the heart of Jurong East. Alright, so let's talk about malls. So when you think about Jurong East, what usually comes to mind is the Jurong Gateway cluster of malls, which includes JEM, JQ, Westgate and IMM. We've touched briefly on this for our previous Jurong West BTO video, so you guys can check it out. But the main point is, there are four shopping malls worth of retail, dining and lifestyle experiences for you to choose from. All are seamlessly connected via the Jaywalk bridges. This is just one MRT stop away or if you want to clock in your steps, it'll take around 18 minutes by foot to this shopping haven. If you're an avid gardener, you'll love this site because you're only 6 minutes drive away to World Farm and Hua Hing Juro, which is Singapore's largest wholesale garden centres. This is a one-stop destination to pretty much getting everything you need to start your own garden. For dog owners, listen up. Your furry pals will be really excited for this next place. So just right beside World Farm Centre is Wagon Wall, Singapore's largest dog water park. If your dog loves to splash and swim, this 19,000 square feet water park will be just what they need for a low impact exercise in the water. This is also a great spot for them to cool off in this really hot Singapore weather and generally have a splashing good time with other furry friends. For schools, U4 Primary is the nearest primary school from the BTO plot that's within 1km radius. So for parents who are aiming to get priority for the Primary 1 registration, do take note. And for parents who have younger children, there are three preschools within the vicinity, which are PCS Sparkle Thoughts, Golden Kids Childcare and Little Footprints Preschool. For healthcare options, there's a family clinic just right across the street from the plot. As I mentioned earlier, the U4 Neighbourhood Centre also houses many clinics as well. You are also 4 minutes drive to the Jurong Health Campus, which is an integrated healthcare development which houses Ng Teng Fong General Hospital and Jurong Community Hospital. Today's episode. There's definitely some potential for this Jurong East BTO as it's near the Jurong Lake District. But if you're looking for resale alternatives, check out the links in the description box below to embark on your home searching journey. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about this BTO launch, feel free to comment down below. See you next week. Bye!